Totem readings are valuable and very powerful. For thousands of years, it was done in many tribal societies, and every society is tribally based. We all came from an earth energy. We all came from an understanding of how we work with what was around us. In the old days, they used to use a badger claw or a little bit of a lizard skin, and only the shaman of the tribe would know what pieces that you were being drawn to and how that empowered you, what you were about, how you connected with the great network. With a totem reading, you get something you can't get from any other reading, and that's that it's permanent. It shows you an inside look at your personal power, your directions, your drive, your ability to lead your own way in this world. animal bits and explain if that was in your totem how that would pertain to you. If you were a spider, it would mean that you are a weaver. Weavers are either writers or people who paint. When I look at the whole rest of your totem, I know exactly how it plays, whether you are a writer or whether you are a painter. And then you can know, oh yeah, I've been writing my whole life, I just never had the faith in doing it. If it's placed in your career position, it's saying this is what you're supposed to be doing. You're really supposed to write. You're supposed to get into this. If it's placed in your feminine position, you're supposed to be creative sexually. You're supposed to be more imaginative in your love life. It has a new meaning depending on where it is in your totem. It's one of those things that gives me the greatest joy to give to people because they can ask you questions about it later. They can grow through it. It's not something that just happens and it's done. Call me up and say, oh my God, I met my dog guy. And like if your boyfriend's a dog, he's loyal and he's strong and he's going to protect you. It's just sad because girls call guys dogs if they're bad. That's not good. Dog guys are great. Totems are awesome.